The human body is a complex and amazing machine. It is able to heal itself, adapt to new environments, and even create new life. This process of creating new life, known as reproduction, is one of the most fundamental processes in all of biology. The reproductive system is the collection of organs and processes within the body that allow us to reproduce. It is a fascinating and complex system, and understanding how it works is essential to appreciating the miracle of life. Throughout history, humans have been fascinated by the reproductive system and its role in the continuation of our species. Ancient civilizations often worshipped fertility gods and goddesses, and the ability to create life was seen as a sacred gift. Today, thanks to advances in medical science, we have a much deeper understanding of the reproductive system and how it works. We know that it is a complex interplay of hormones, organs and processes, all working together to create new life. The male reproductive system is responsible for producing and delivering sperm. The male reproductive cell, which carries half of the genetic material needed to create a new human being. This system is located both inside and outside the male body. The penis is the external organ through which both urine and sperm exit the body. It plays a crucial role in sexual intercourse delivering sperm to the female reproductive system. The scrotum is a sac-like structure that hangs outside the body and houses the testes. Its location outside the body helps to regulate the temperature of the testes, which is crucial for sperm production. The testes are two oval-shaped organs located within the scrotum. They are the primary male reproductive organs and are responsible for the production of both sperm and the hormone testosterone. Sperm production takes place within tiny coiled tubes inside the testes called seminiferous tubules. These tubules are lined with specialized cells that undergo a complex process of division and differentiation to produce millions of sperm every day. Testosterone, the primary male sex hormone, is produced in cells located between the seminiferous tubules called Leydig cells. Testosterone plays a vital role in the development of male secondary sexual characteristics, such as facial hair and a deep voice, as well as in sperm production and sex drive. Section 4. The Female Reproductive System – Nurturing New Beginnings The female reproductive system is designed to produce eggs, receive sperm, and support the development of a fertilized egg into a baby. This system is a marvel of biological engineering with each organ playing a crucial role in the process of reproduction. The vagina is a muscular canal that connects the external genitalia to the uterus. It serves as the entry point for sperm during sexual intercourse and as the birth canal during childbirth. The cervix is the lower, narrow part of the uterus that connects to the vagina. It acts as a gateway to the uterus, controlling the passage of sperm and menstrual fluid. Section 5. The Ovaries, Holding the Seeds of Life The ovaries are two small, almond-shaped organs located on either side of the uterus. They are the primary female reproductive organs and are responsible for producing eggs and the hormones estrogen and progesterone. Each ovary contains thousands of tiny sacs called follicles. Each follicle contains an immature egg and the cells that support its development. During a woman's reproductive years, one follicle typically matures and releases an egg each month, a process known as ovulation. Estrogen and progesterone, the primary female sex hormones, are produced by the ovaries. They play a vital role in the development of female secondary sexual characteristics, the regulation of the menstrual cycle, and the support of pregnancy. Section 6. Working Together, the Dance of Life. The male and female reproductive systems, though distinct, are designed to work together in a delicate and intricate dance to achieve the goal of reproduction. This collaboration begins with sexual intercourse, where the male ejaculates sperm into the female's vagina. The sperm, propelled by their tails, journey through the cervix and into the uterus, and finally reach the fallopian tubes. If an egg is present in the fallopian tube, a single sperm may fertilize it, combining their genetic material to form a zygote. This zygote, the very beginning of a new human life, then travels down the fallopian tube and implants in the lining of the uterus. 
Here it will grow and develop over the course of nine months, nurtured by the mother's body until it is ready to be born. The human reproductive system is a testament to the power and complexity of biology. Understanding how this system works gives us a greater appreciation for the miracle of life and the importance of protecting our reproductive health.